great Scott, it's time for another needless unboxing. Hey, Phantomaniacs, welcome to the newest unboxing here on the Needless Things YouTube channel. Today, we are taking a look at the ultimate Doc Brown, the 2015, or I guess 2015 is the cooler way to say it for the purposes of Back to the Future. This is part of the sort of Father's Day launch of a bunch of new NECA products. I was lucky enough to be able to find it pretty early. Uh, this is the Doc Brown I wanted. The 1950s Doc Brown looks great. 1955 Doc Brown, you know, it's awesome. There he is. But this is the one that I wanted. This is the more fun Christopher Lloyd really getting into the role, in my opinion. Uh, so we're going to take a look at it today. Ultimate Doc Brown, Marty McFly and Doc Brown experience the adventure of a lifetime in an unlikely time machine as they travel to the past, present, and future, setting off a time-shattering chain reaction that disrupts the time-space continuum, as opposed to the space-time continuum, which is weird, because I think that's normally how that's referred to. Uh, box looks great. Uh, they've got the USA Today, which actually, I just it just hit me that this is actually USA Today. It doesn't say, like, America Today or whatever. It's not some off-brand thing. They actually have USA Today on here, and it's the uh, the newspaper, of course, that changes as Marty fixes the future. Uh, looks, it's... There's a lot going on on this, but it's eye-catching, and when you walk into Target or wherever and see this... It it you notice it from all the Godzillas that have been in the NECA section for the past five years. Uh, my all of the ones that were there were smashed up. Uh, fortunately, I opened everything, so I wasn't too worried about it. But there were uh, I think there were six of them there, and all of them had varying degrees of box damage like this. This was this was the least damaged of them. Which I in retrospect I should have taken the most damage, knowing I was going to open it anyway. But whatever, they were all messed up. Uh, we've got the great little Velcro flap on the front here with action shot of the figure. And then, of course, the figure itself. And then bottom of the box, to me, the most important feature of NECA's products, the credits for who worked on this little miniature piece of art. So there you go. Let's go ahead and bust out our trusty 1964 box cutter. I should have I should have looked for a 1955 box cutter. Or maybe a, I should have looked for a 2015 box cutter for today. That would have been uh, well worth the effort, I'm sure, for a one-second gag that really wouldn't have amused anybody. Uh, let's take a look at the insert here and see what kind of background Doc is on. And it's the alley where they leave uh, our poor, unfortunate... You know, I wonder if we'll get a figure of her. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, it looks cool. like it. And it's funny how I'd never really noticed before the W here looks a lot like the Wayland yutani W. Uh... I wonder if that's a little bit of satire or if I'm just reading too much into the whole connected universe type of things. All right. What are we, oh, oh man. Why has this got to be all mashed up? That's disappointing. So clearly this newspaper is intended to be sort of protected and, and tied to... Oh, I wonder... No, because it was taped to this. I was wondering if it was maybe taped to this background, but... That stinks. So my newspaper, right out of the box, is damaged. Uh, but you can see, once again, it's that newspaper that changes as they fix the future. Uh, I hate that it's damaged, but at the same time, this is going straight into an accessory bag and a drawer. So I'm not going to get too upset about it, but they could have taken a little better, better uh, care of this. NECA usually does a really nice job with their paper accessories. I've, I've never had one that was messed up out of the box before. Uh, all right, let's move along. You can see we've got a lot of twist ties to deal with here, so I'm going to take out my trusty Dollar Tree fingernail clippers. If you don't have a set in your toy opening zone, what are you even doing? For $1, you can save yourself the heartache and the hassle of twist ties. I don't like untwisting twist ties. It's annoying to me because sometimes you go in one direction and then you realize it's tied in the other direction. You got to start over again. Uh, it's just, I, I don't like them. I hate twist ties, although they are better than those little, those new things, those little plastic tabby things that people are using now. 
Those are even worse. Man, these portraits are incredible. That was another thing about the 1955 Doc Brown. Like, it looks great, but something about the portraits is... I don't know. It seems a little off to me. Not bad, just weird. Maybe it's an uncanny valley thing. Maybe... I, I don't know. I don't know quite what it is, but when I looked at it, it just didn't... They didn't sing to me like this one does. Uh, and also, Doc's... I mean, obviously, look at this. This is a toyetic look. This is the Doc Brown that I wanted. Uh, as well as his alternate hands here, uh, taped in, but hopefully that tape did not get all over the hands and make them all sticky, if I can even get the tape undone. There we go. There's usually, that is usually, and I don't know if this is intentional or if it's just how it works out, but they're pretty good about usually leaving a corner up uh, so that you can pull that tape up pretty easily. And yeah, no sticky on the hands, so that's nice. And then we've got his gear here. I'm gonna set all of that aside and I'm going to I'm going to cheat a little bit here. I'm going to look at the accessories list. Binoculars, briefcase, newspaper, interchangeable heads and hands. Okay, so binoculars. Visually, I remembered this, but then once I popped them out, I was like, "Wait, what the heck was this thing?" I can't quite remember. I mean, obviously, it's binoculars, you can tell. Or, or it's it goes on the eyes. It's even got a little nose. Look at the sculpt on this thing. Even a little cutout there for the nose. Pretty amazing what NECA is doing with these tiny, tiny little accessories. Fantastic. Uh, then we'll take a look at the emergency cash box. Looks great. I'm going to carefully open that up. I've got a nice hinge down here. Pretty low profile. It's hard. Hinges are tough. At this scale, it's really hard to make a hinge look good. I know that's something you don't really think about, but it has to function properly. And just physically, for that to work right, it has to stick out a certain amount. So I, small hinges, I'm always impressed when they're lower profile like this. Uh, so very nice. And I don't want to open this further than it's supposed to open. And it looks like that's... Yeah, actually, you can see right here. Gosh, I feel like that should go out fully flat. But as I have learned here on the Needless Things YouTube channel, it's not a good idea to try things while you're recording because that's how things get broken. Look at the incredible detail here. So you have... All of the years of the uh, different currency. But not only is there an actual clear plastic uh, sort of holder, but if you can see, the way that they've printed this, the money is actually sticking out the top just like it is in the movie. Like, this isn't just like some printed piece. There's a clear piece on top of the printed currency here. I mean, it, the look is absolutely amazing, the way that they've done this. Uh, I, I'm, I'm really, really impressed by this. Although, I do have to think, and I'm sure this is how it is in the movie, but if he's carrying it like this, and then opens it, isn't all this going to slide out? I don't know. Gosh, I really want this to open flat, and I feel like it will and should. But again, you can see there's a little nub right here. I'm not, I'm not going to force this thing all the way open. So that's as much as we're getting right now. But you can see gorgeous detail. Looks incredible. And as far as displaying it goes, uh, now is that going to close back up nicely? Hmm. Doesn't want to close back up flush. So I was getting ready to say as far as displaying it goes, I'll just have Doc carrying it if I use it at all. But without being able to close that thing back up flush... Uh, maybe it'll just go in the accessory bag with the newspaper. But it's got a nice weight to it, too. It almost feels metal. You know, the finish on this looks fantastic. It's that nice sort of aluminum finish. Uh, but it's got a nice heft to it as well. Uh, I really like this piece. I wish... Uh, I, obviously, there's a little production warping going on where it doesn't close up flush. All right. Let's move on to Doc himself. 
And I am in love with this figure. All the detail on his shirt. He's got his ridiculous translucent tie going on there. Uh, his sunglasses, which also have a great finish on them. Very shiny uh, hair. Tons of detail on the hair. And he's got that look on his face. Oh, man. Look at that guy. Uh, he's got his watch there. The quilted, the weird quilted pants that he has. The I, I hate it that we did not get this fashion in 2015, in 2015. What happened? Oh, he's got two watches. Uh, one for 2015, one for 1985, presumably. Uh, he does not notably have a cell phone, but that's okay. Uh, the movie's fun. It is, you know, we, we have to look back on these things uh, with, with the love and nostalgia that they deserve. All of that detail. What is this business? He's got antenna on his shoes. I don't know if I've ever even noticed that in the movie. That's another cool thing about these NECA toys is a lot of times it makes me want to go back and watch the movie again to catch all the little details that are in the toys that I didn't even notice in the movie a lot of times. Uh, his coat is kind of a golden. You can see there's a finish on it that makes it shiny looking. And then the inside is actually... Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice that when I opened it a second ago. There is a painted pattern on the inside of the coat. That is fantastic. Look at that. Doesn't go all the way up. Doesn't need to. There's no reason to. We've got it on the lapels, and you've got it at the parts at the bottom where you can see. I'm completely okay. You know, this isn't like Jack's Pacific in... Uh, 1998, where you'd buy a Matt Hardy figure and only the front of his pants was painted. You know, this is a little bit different. So, phenomenal. Look at this. Look at it. It's fantastic. This is the Doc Brown of my dreams. Uh, so, let's look at these alternate heads. We have the shocked head that just couldn't look any more perfect. Look, even the, the mouth, the sculpt there, just absolutely amazing what they're accomplishing now uh and it has been something i'd like to point out you know NECA's had their challenges over the years i haven't always thought they were like the most amazing toy company of all time but look at that you can even see his teeth in there uh it's been a long time since i've gotten since i now i don't know if, about your experience and i'm sure you'll let me know in the comments but it's been a long time since i've gotten a NECA figure that had a paint problem uh, whether it was derpy eyes or something, they seem to have nailed it down. All right. And then finally, our last alternate head, which this one makes me want Adam's Family action figures from NECA so bad, you guys. Because just imagine your Uncle Fester figure. Oh, man, how awesome would that be? To have the whole, the movie Adam's Family done by NECA, because that's all I see when I look at that is Uncle Fester. Oh, I want it so bad, you guys. All right, I'm not... Well, okay, we'll see. We'll see how difficult it is. I'm going to take a look here, because sometimes NECA uses the ball, the sort of barbell joiners, and sometimes it's just a little pointy peg. This looks like it's barbell. I'm going to give a little tug And see if it wants to come off, and it doesn't. So we're just going to leave that right where it is. Uh, and I'll, I'll, rather than swapping heads, I'm just going to tell you guys, um, heat up your NECA figures before you try and swap parts. I've had more problems with them lately, uh, which I guess that's the new thing. Now that they've nailed their paint, and now that their ankles aren't made of rubber, uh heat them up. Uh, more more NECA figures have been broken on this channel than you'd believe. Only you will believe it if you go back and watch the older videos. So anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. Please like, subscribe, share, and keep an eye out for this guy. To me, if you're a child of the 80s, he is a must-have action figure. Because uh, it's Christopher Lloyd, it's Doc Brown, it's iconic. I just am so delighted with this guy. And I, he's going to sit on my desk for a while. I cannot see him going directly to the shelf. Thanks for watching, you guys. Uh, let your friends know about Needless Things, and stay tuned for more great toy reviews. Smash that like button if you like Needless Things.